Hi everyone and welcome to Triple M Adventures with Bill. Before we get started, please consider subscribing to my channel and possibly becoming a patron, which will help me produce more content in the future. This video is about range testing. On your OpenTX radio, you'll notice when you're binding your, radio, your receiver to your radio, you'll see there's a, 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 a selection that you can make is range. Now this is to do a range test so that when you're at the field, you can, it drops the power down of your transmitter and then you walk away from the model with your radio and you can watch the RSSI. There is another method where you would walk away with the receiver if you don't have RS, uh, RSSI coming back to your radio and then you look for a fail safe. So we're gonna go out into the field and I will show you how to do this. Before we go out to the field, let me just show you where we go to this uh, settings, this range testing on our radio. We need to hit the model button and then we're gonna scroll, I'm coming up from the bottom and you'll see here, now I'm going to be using a, a, a Flysky receiver for this test but that will be the same for anyone. And there is the range test. So all you would do is you'll hit this button and of course there's no receiver bound to my radio so it's showing zero. So that's how we set it up so that um, you can do the range test. Okay, I'm out at the field now, so I'm gonna do the test. I've got my friend Steve to help me. Um, he's uh, holding the, hi Steve. Hi. He's holding the receiver for me because I would say at the field, you should not put the airplane on the ground unless of course you're on your own. So I'm gonna show you now on the radio what's happening. So we're gonna walk away. You should be able to see, oh, the light's good. Okay, the RSSI is dropping. And I think from as far as I understand, we should be able to go about 30 meters because finding on the manufacturer's um, instructions of how far you can go, I'm not sure. So maybe someone can help me out there. Okay, so our, our exercise is dropping. Here we go, we're 55 now. Oh, the uh, fly sky receiver's doing quite well. There we go, zero, I would say. That was where we lost. So if I turn round, you can see Steve is that far down. But as soon as I turn round, I'm getting uh, an RSSI of 50. So I'm gonna keep on going. I'm okay, I'm keeping the radio out so it's lined up with the antenna. But I would say, look how far that is. I haven't measured this distance, um, but we're still not foul safing. Okay, fell safe because I bought it back. You see, it's coming up to 2030. RSSI critical. RSSI critical. I would say if you've gone that far, that's a good range test. I'm going to pace out roughly the distance, but if you can see, Steve's way down there. RSSI critical. So I was, and we're not losing RSSI. Okay, it's gone to two now. So it's, that's quite a distance. Okay, I'm going to paste it back. I'm going to paste that difference out and I will tell you how far how far it is. Okay, I managed to go uh, 200 meters, so it definitely passed, passed the 30 meter test for the range test. Now I've got Steve to hold the transmitter for me and I'm going to walk away with the receiver because some uh, receivers won't have RSSI, you won't get telemetry back to your radio. So you need to look at the LED on your receiver, which can be a bit difficult if it's planted inside an aeroplane, but you know, you can try and make a plan. Um, I, I know you probably should do a range tech every, test every time you fly, but I must admit I don't. I do it with a new model and then I never do it again, I must say. Okay, let's have a go. Let's see how far we go before we get a fail safe. I'm now well over 30 meters and I've got no, no fail safe at all. Okay, I'm going to go to roughly, I'm going to go to the, roughly the same position as I went before because if we're not foul safe and at 200 meters, that's uh, very good. Yep. Okay. Let me go into the shade. There we go. The LED is, is still on. I'm going to try a test and uh, this will be difficult whilst I'm filming. Let me just cover up the antennas. Yes, there we go. You see I've forced a... Uh, fail safe. Let me show you. So I forced a fail safe. You can, sorry, you can see that. If I release, there we go. So I would say that definitely, um, 
I would say that definitely passed the test. We're on range test and I'm at least 200 meters away. So that would be a good test. As I said earlier, it says, uh, some people have said to me, you should better go 30 meters on the range test, but this has gone a lot further than that. I suppose if it goes 30 meters that you're fairly safe. Okay, let's go back into the studio. Thanks for watching this video. And if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section below because I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye for now. Bye bye.